Well, <laughs> my friend Duncan Trussell has a great joke about Adderall. The Adderall is like someone did coke and they were a scientist and they're like, I can fix this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. No, Adderall. I, 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 I was warned even for this podcast. They're like, don't do too much Adderall. You'll talk too much. It's like, but I did a little. How much do you do? I've, I've toned it down, but like, you know, a 30 a day. If I, if I have to think, it makes me feel like I can cure cancer. Really? Yeah. It makes me, I love it. Like, I don't get jittery. Like, at least I don't think I do. Coffee, Adderall, I like, it gets the brain going. But yeah. I have tried to wean off of it because I don't want it not to work when I need it. Right, right. So you want it to be a tool. Yeah. Uh, well, we were just looking that up last night, and we were trying to figure out how many people are on Adderall, and there was 41 million prescriptions, I think, in 2020. 41 million. Now, how many, how many of those are... Fake? No, it's like how many people are doing it? If you have 41 million prescriptions, like, well, you get a prescription. Like, if you get a prescription, is it for 30 days or for 60 days? Like, how many prescriptions do you get a year? Like, how many humans are we talking about? Yeah. I mean, that's... 41 million prescriptions, like, how many people? If it's 41 million people on Adderall, we get a fucking messed up country, you know? Yeah, everyone's like, you'll wait. I mean, for documentation that it's really bad for you, but who knows? Well... Is coffee really bad? I mean, I think coffee is good for you. Some of it. Yeah. I've I've gone to war on this coffee. The studies say like uh, it's pretty good for you. There's some studies that say it's bad for you. Well, that's they used to say that it dehydrated. You can find that with everything, but now they find out that coffee actually can hydrate you. That I don't believe. Yeah, it, it is. It's liquid. Coffee hydrates you. I uh, see. That's it can't. I know what it does to me. Well, I, it makes I, you urinate because it it does. It is in some ways. It dehydrates you because it is a stimulant, but you're also drinking in so much liquid that it doesn't dehydrate you. Hmm. Like people, Google that. Make sure that's true. I think you can, I think like you can find be, both. I think you can find both. Here it is. Does coffee hydrate you? The answer is yes. Coffee does count towards your daily water intake. However, drinking huge amounts of caffeine can be dehydrated. That may be from big coffee, though. It could be. Ah, that's because <laughs> the increase in urination can result in a higher that. risk of dehydration. I don't think it is. Uh, a coffee website. I don't yeah, think right. They, it's from Big Coffee. But the thing is, like, I don't think they need to be, to say coffee's okay. Everybody's hooked on coffee. Yeah, I doctor. fucking love the stuff. Mayo Clinic. Caffeinated drinks yeah, Mayo seems can legit. contribute to your daily food right, requirement. Good. Listen, I'm a coffee guy, yeah. so the better the... Uh, I am too. I love it. I love coffee. But I love a little bit of... I, I like a little cigar. I like weed. I like a little booze. I just, I feel like it's a balance thing. Like, I don't want to be a teetotaler, and I do Sober October every year where I don't do shit, but at the end of the day, I think a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of coffee, you just got to take care of your body. You got to know when you're overdoing it, know when you're doing too much, make sure you take vitamins, make sure you recover, do a bunch of different things to take care of your fucking meat vehicle. But as long as you do that, I feel like... I mean, anything in moderation yeah. is probably fine. Look, if you're training for a fight, don't drink, you know? Don't do coke. Don't do, but Meanwhile, John Jones did, and the greatest of all time. Right. It was one of the greatest fucking quotes ever when he, was, when he was in a press conference with Daniel Cormier after their first fight. He goes, I beat you when I was doing coke. <laughs> I, I, I feel like a lot of the fighters are probably doing stuff. Mm. The elite of the elite aren't. No, I mean, other than John.